Hi everyone, I have finished my Matchstick Mouse Halloween colouring book so I thought I would do a flip through for you. Some of the pages you may have seen before on my Facebook or my Instagram or even in tutorial videos but I thought I would show you because I haven't put them all on my channels. I thought it would be fun anyway. Now this picture I love so much that when I came to this picture in the book I copied this uh, picture so I show you later but let's uh, move through now I'm going to zoom in a little I've got a little poster each page to tell me what I did was I stuck it on so I knew what pencils I used now this was the very first picture I did when I did the flip through of the new book um, so you can find this on video and the um, long stripes in the sky are actually glittery it's really hard to pick it up you might see it there but I did some glitter. Now I would have liked to have done more glitter on some of the pages here, but I sort of coloured them um, sometimes one after the other, so uh, I couldn't do um, I couldn't do glitter. Now, oh, those, the pencils for that page. Sorry, I didn't tell you. Those were Arteza Expert. I find Arteza Expert work very, very well on this paper. This is, as far as I'm aware, um, yeah, Amazon paper. And I find the Arteza expert, but this is UK Amazon paper. I don't know if it differs from the US paper. I think it's UK. Yeah. So this one, I copied the tree, the look of the trees from the ones on the front cover, which I really like. They're quite sort of purpley bluey. So I decided to take those purples, but do pink stars. There's actually the, um, the circles are actually colored in gray, but it's hard to see. Got a gray moon um, with some blue craters. And it was quite a simple one, but I just really like the simple colours, so I had fun with that one. And that was Chromaflow pencils. Again, they work really well in these books too. So this one's Arteza Expert. I wanted to go for an autumnal feel. We've got our bunting, so I took that with a Halloween um, bias. So we've got the orange, but these ones I actually coloured over in purple, but you can't see very well. So we've got that bunting and I just did, um, I had fun doing autumnal colours. So I decided to do our owl grey rather than brown so that he stood out from all the browns in the picture. I had a lot of fun. This one was a chroma flow. There is some glitter on this page. I'm not sure if it will sh show up for you. If you look at the candle flame, the bunting ribbon, I think that's where it is. And oh, and in the magical potion bottle. So here i had good fun i do like my browns and at this time of year we're using a lot of browns for autumn colors so that was good fun and then obviously our pumpkins in a brighter color i think i mixed a brown and an orange and a yellow to get um some colors there and i didn't do autumnal leaves because we had the brown here and the orange here i just kept them green and i thought maybe they're pumpkin leaves and pumpkin leaves i think are usually green i think they go yellow a little bit later so i had fun and i kept it about the limited color palette obviously with chromaflow and get loads of colors in my set i've only got 24 so i don't get a big range of colors but i didn't um, do any blues or anything i stuck to sort of purples and pinks i just thought that was fun now this one I grabbed my polychromos for. Um, I wanted something where I had a big range of colour because I've got a lot going on. Um, I found it quite a complex page and so how I did it was I coloured the desk first and that helped me identify some of the items. Then I coloured the leaves. I wanted to do them in an autumn style. I didn't do that one in an autumn style but then it helped me start to identify what was going on. I'm still not sure what these little bits are. I think they might be nuts but I don't really know. I've got no idea what that is. But anyway, I just played around with it and uh, I did with the pictures in the background. I did leave some white bits, but I wasn't really sure what that was. I thought it might have been a hat. I didn't know. Um, so I left it white as if it was a bobble. But um, and I left a stack of paper white, even though all the paper on the background isn't. I don't know why, um, but, uh, but I had fun with that one still. And uh, it's nice to a green hat. Don't often do much stick mouse with a green hat because we've often got a lot of green leaves going on. So uh, that was fun. So this is the one from the cover. Um, I'll turn it over so you can see. Um, this is digitally coloured and this is pencil coloured. So obviously it's a different idea. But I just took all the colours and uh, copied them and had a lot of fun really. So uh, that was good. I like that. And um, copied all the star colours and things. So yeah, I used... Um, 
Castle Art Soft Touch for that and just, as I say, just copied all the colours. So that was fun. This one um, I've done as a tutorial for you. I actually made it yesterday. I'm not quite sure what order the videos are going to go out. Um, so we'll see. I've just noticed I haven't coloured his nose. Hmm. I didn't, obviously didn't do it in the tutorial either. I, w I remember I did all the pencil work first. This was um, Chroma Flow as well. And then I used my metallic pens for the wrappers of the sweets and things. You can see them look. And for the stars. And I remember thinking, I'm sure there's another bit of pencil to do before I move on to the shiny. And I didn't. And obviously there was his nose. But maybe we'll leave his nose white. I don't know. Then this is, um, oh, it says here, our taser expert. Um, again, I kept it quite simple with the... Um, I just kept these in orange and red. I sort of felt I didn't want a big multicoloured bit here. I wanted it to just sort of match in with the pumpkin and the hat matches in with the bunting. I just wanted there to be some coherence across the page so that's how I did that. That was fun. Oh, this one I had fun with, this Castle Art Seascape. Now in the background here we've got this big white circle and it could just be the entrance to the cave perhaps, or the, wherever they are, a bit of empty hollow tree or something, I didn't know, didn't know what these circles were, I coloured them as rocks, I had no idea, but I thought let's make it look like there's some sort of ghostly presence behind them, it's a Halloween book after all, so I did that, they can't see it, they're not looking that way, um, and I sort of did this as if it was a pumpkin, I've got a necklace like this, um, which is a sort of light up pumpkin, I mean that's a compass, but I thought I'd do it orange, like sort of pumpkin-y, because it just reminded me of my necklace. <laughs> and this time I did Owl in Blue, just because, um, so Owl stands out a little bit, because Owl is so cute. Oh, this, oh, that was done with Castle Art Seascape set. This is Castle Art Soft Touch. I had fun with this. Um, the moon and stars were good fun. I just sort of did the moon with red to orange to yellow. I don't know why I did it that, I mean moons aren't that colour, I just had some fun with it and then did all the stars and dots in those colours, it was good. And then everything else is a lot more conventional, there's not so much autumnal colour in the leaves because we've got it going on in the sky. And I sort of did the yellow hat as well and it that makes it look more autumnal, you know, it's not, I don't think it's a massively Halloween-y picture but I had good fun with it, it doesn't really matter. So that was that one. I don't know what I coloured this page in, I didn't put a sticker on. I have a feeling, no, I was thinking is it Ergosoft, but I don't think we've got those colours. But I did this sort of sky colour in a pink and blue to make it look sort of mystical, because I thought that was good fun, because we've got the spider and it's halloween -y. But then I did some autumnal leaf, leaf colour, which I enjoy doing as well. So it was a nice mix and a lot of fun, but as I said, I can't remember what pencils I used, so I'm not sure. Now again, um, I had fun with this. These are Arteza Premium. So they're the ones that come in the tub. And there's a bit of sparkle on all the cobwebs. I don't know if I can make it shine for you. But um, we didn't have, and I did it on the cauldron as well, because we've got this big black area. And there were white bits, so I just did them sparkly. Um, I enjoyed doing this background. I like this warm, lovely warm colour. I assume we're inside a tree or a cave or a hole in the ground I'm not really sure where do mice live anywhere I guess so I did that and because we had so much brown then I made the leaf mainly green there's a little bit of brown at the bottom and uh, um, darker green um, leaves and things but I made the potion really bright because I thought that was fun and then in the background these colored dots there were lots of dots anyway but I think I don't know I may have added some more I'm not sure if I did I did them in um, Posca um, my sort of bright neony type poscas, so my green and blue and orange and pink and red, yellow. So there was some sort of multicolored dots, as if it might be coming out of the potion. I know the potion is only is only blue. It's a nice color blue, isn't it? I think it might have been the teal. So this was Black Widow Spider. I'm gonna use some spider pencils for the Halloween page, and it has a white ghost in the picture. And I was like, no, I don't want a white ghost. So cut of my ghost. Um, I like the hat. Um, those colours, really pretty from the spider set. And that's the plum pudding mainly with bits of the purple and cyanide pink. Amethyst purple? 
No, I, th actually, I think I may put a bit of blue in there because the amethyst purple is this. It's not so dark. So that's quite fun. I did mouse um, grey because I wanted her to stand out against all these autumnal colours that I've been doing. Didn't do all autumnal, but did a very autumnal tree, which was good fun and bush. This one's a bit yellowy as well. And then did the rest green just so that it there's a bit of a contrast. But did a bit of darker colour down here as well. That was fun. This was done with very thin pencils. Now I thought it would be a good idea, but actually they're quite hard. They're nice for small spaces, um, but maybe not so much for, for this. But anyway, I had I I still enjoy doing it. And uh, she's... Sorry, I just stopped the video because I had a very loud sneeze. But she's uh, making her um, Halloween decorations. So I looked at this and I thought, well, this is a pine cone, so we'll do it in brown. And this... I'm not sure, but we'll do that sort of to match. And then we've got these leaves, so we do them in green. Now, these I thought looked like they might have been catkins, um, which is not really the right time of year for those, or some sort of seed pods. But I did them, um, I think I did a mix of dark brown and black, or maybe just a dark brown, um, so that um, they sort of looked a bit darker, because I thought they should. And it just all ties together, I thought. So that was fun. We've got a little conquer bowl with things in. So uh, I didn't I only colour that flag in orange and left the others black. I didn't try and colour over them. So I had fun. Again I did mouse in grey so that she stood out from her brown wall behind. Now this again I went back to my Arteza experts. Now the duck is very white and I didn't I like the idea of a white duck so I didn't want to colour her in really. I was, perhaps I should have done her eye. But <laughs> I did a little bit of grey shadowing around some of it, but you can't really see. But I had fun with the bricks, and I did the trees in sort of blue to make it look quite dark and twilighty, night timey. And but I did the ghosts in purple because I just didn't want to leave loads of white because I've got a white duck. So I just thought it was fun. And the moon in blue, you know, I know the moon isn't blue, but you know, it's just fun. And we just did a bit of up and down colouring for the grass there. It's a bit of a strange picture, but hey, it's okay. Right, here we I used Ergosofts. Um, it took quite a bit of layering with the Ergos. Um, interesting story about Ergosofts. They're going to stop selling them in the UK. They've withdrawn. They're not selling them anymore. And the design journey, the sort of new set. So anyone who's a fan of Stedler Ergosofts, you might want to buy them up um, before they come off the market. I noticed... Um, I don't think they had any on Amazon. I think Colt Pens may have had some. I'm not sure, but anyway, um, I'm just. I want to try the Design Journey ones. I wrote to Steadley, you see, and asked them um, what whether the Design Journey were the same as Ergosoft, and they said they're they're they've withdrawn. Ergo, they're not selling Ergosoft in the UK anymore. And Design Journey, their new brand. So they're going to send me, they also offered to send me some samples, which they're going to do so that I can, so I will compare and test for you at some point. Um, I've got Norris, I've got Ergos and, and we'll see what they send. So um, that'll be a video for the future. But for now, let's get back to this one. So Ergosoft, um, there's a lot of oranges in the um, 36 set, so it was quite good for the pumpkins, but they're not hugely vibrant, but I don't mind. I thought it was quite a nice atmospheric picture without too much vibrance and also we want Kat to stand out because she's cute so uh, there's that one now this one I grabbed my Arteza Expert I wanted a really bright orange lots of choice of orange I mean in my Arteza Expert I have the 72 I have a pumpkin orange and orange I think I have an orange lake I have a blood orange and then I have the sort of cinnamon nuts and sienna sienna browns and things like that so there's lots there that I could use for this giant pumpkin it was so much fun and uh, it's not much to say I did the stars quite pale um, my bright yellow was here and I sort of blend these oranges and I didn't really want it to be there as well I wanted the pumpkin to stand out so I did paler stars and again did mouse in grey so um, she stood out a little bit or I, had I done her brown she wouldn't have and uh, and some autumnal leaves, which I just have great fun colouring. Now this one um, is a tutorial, I think. No, it's not. I'm lying. This was Black Widow Cobra. I so say it's not a tutorial, sorry. And uh, it's quite a challenge colouring a bat. 
there's black when you've got a black background and that's why I'm getting confused the tutorial I did was similar there was a bat black a black bat <laughs> on a black background but if you use your black quite lightly you can still give the impression of black and she stands out you could paint the background with a Posca or a uh, paint to make it a different color so that and then you could do a lot more black on the back but you know I couldn't quite get the ghosts looking the color I wanted I mixed some greens and yellows and blues and I don't know it wasn't they I wanted them to be a bit more vibrant but you know but I made some pinky um, shrubbery there as well as the green just to match the stars because it's fun and I've I've got really into the sort of purpley pinky greenery greenery bushes in this uh, book so that's what I did now this is Giorgione pencils um, again I wanted the um, pumpkins to stand out there's quite a few oranges in that set um, the greens though are a bit odd the ones that I've got I haven't got more left anymore some of them are browny dark greens like this and some of them are very bluey green and there isn't much in between so you don't get your like in polychromos you get your grass green and your leaf green and those greens there isn't anything like that so it's either dark green or um bluey green so this was the only green i could find that was sort of like it and i just mixed it with some yellows to make it look a bit more autumny so that was fun this was black widow scorpion now this was an interesting picture. We've got our ghost hanging on the washing line. Now I could have left the ghost white, but I decided not to. I thought it'd be fun to uh, to colour it in to make it look a little bit less obvious, you know. And this time I did some autumnal leaves again, but I made mouse um, brown because I had plenty of brown. So the stars are done in um, um, Prisma colour, very thin gold, and the little circles are done in very thin silver. It's just that I happen to have those in a drawer on my desk, so they're always at hand so I can grab them when I want something metallic. They don't stand out really, really shiny, but I think they're a bit different. I quite like the gold and silver in that set. Oh, hang on, I think I've turned over two pages. Yeah, no. So that was Black Widow Scorpion, I think I said. I can't remember. This is Castle Arts Monet. Now, what I wanted to do here was to have um, lots of sort of colours in the background, but I ended up not having quite so many because the Monet set hasn't got a huge amount of variety of colour. We've got our greens and our purples, and then I didn't have a lot left. I didn't really have browns very much, but by the time I'd done her in a bit of brown, then, you know. So, but I think I would have liked a more vibrant yellow for this, for example. But, you know, I had fun. This was done with Castle Art Botanical set. And I chose it because there's lots of browns. Because we've got the brown ladder and the brown background I wanted to do. I think this is quite a nice warm colour for the background. Um, but um, I did her in grey so that she didn't, um, hide, you know, you could see her. But I took the opportunity again to do a green hat because... Um, often there's greenery you can't do a green hat I think they look rather cute so that was that one this is Stedler Ergosoft again I had rather more success with them on this page I think I there was less to do so I persevered a bit more I think drinking and driving should be frowned upon though don't you but <laughs> I decided to the this bit was white and I just decided to colour it in pink to make it look like there's some sort of potion in there. I could have done some dots in pen and things like that but I was I was ready to turn over and do the next one when I finished this. It's very addictive these pictures because you do them so quickly you want to devour the next one as soon as you finish. So it's great fun. This is Derwent Lightfast. Um, I'm not sure why I chose those. I just wanted to try a variety of different pencils. I think I probably could have done a bit of white spray on the sea. Um, maybe or some reflection of the stars but um, anyway I just it wasn't massively Halloweeny in my opinion so I picked up some orange and purple to try and give it more of a Halloween feel so it was fun polychromos for this one I had great fun with the I love colouring tree trunks so it's good fun the pumpkins and um, this time I left the ghost white um, I think it works with this picture because the ghost stands out, but you can still, the pumpkin still stand out as well. So I think it, it works well. 
Now this was done with um, Kors pencils and the ghosts are actually in gold pencil. It doesn't really shine, but I just thought I'd try something different. So that was good fun. And the stars and dots in the sky are silver. I did a little bit of red in the tree and it sort of matches the little mushrooms there. But uh, it was good fun. I just, I wanted to give an autumnal feel a little bit to the leaves as well. Again, you know, we're, it's autumn now. Now, I did Arteza Premium for these. Um, again, I like a sort of brownish background, which I think is quite autumnal. Um, but I felt the orange hat stood out enough. So we've got a sort of orange and purple going on for our halloween -y type colour scheme, which is what I feel, what I associate with Halloween anyway. Now we have Castle Art Soft Touch. There's a lot going on in this picture. But basically we've got a decorated pumpkin that she's inside of and she seems to be welcoming her friends in. So I found it tricky to know where to start. So I did the pumpkin and picked out these big leaves to start with and then did the ground and then that sort of helped me pick out the other colours and things like that. This was done with Prismacolor. Um, I've been playing with my Prismas a little bit more and being a bit braver and I am beginning to enjoy them more. Um, I don't dislike them of course but I get a bit scared of them breaking and not knowing quite how to use them and things like that but this was fun I wanted because she's inside her pumpkin house I think because if you look in the previous picture we have a window by two pumpkins there I think that's her looking out of that window so we did the pumpkin colours on the outside but I did do a wooden a window sill I could did there actually it just breaks it up a little bit I didn't want to do that orange as well I did quite dark green because I think it worked well against the orange so that was fun now this was Giorgio and pencils again um, I wanted to put in some of these fun colours so what I did was I didn't want it all to be pinks and purples so I used the bluey greens and they set off well against those I felt anyway and uh, yeah we've got our pumpkin I left this one white I on the previous pictures I've coloured it in like a leaf but I thought is it supposed to be a ghost I didn't know so I left it white I thought it looked a bit ghost like I'll turn the page I think this is the last page these this I did with polycolor and again I wanted some nice colored stars and I think it's so cute so in my polycolor set I've only got 12 pencils so I've got a dark blue and a light blue so I use the dark blue for the outside of owl and the light for the tummy and just a slightly harder layer of light there for baby I just use light but it looked too light so I put a few streaks of the darker blue in so that um, it looked a bit um, feathery but um, um, not too much so you can see the difference between them and then um, the yellow for the feet and I had fun doing these sort of autumnal leaves as well so there we go I think that's the last picture yes it is so there's my um, Halloween book it was really good fun to colour so thank you to the lovely person that sent that to me um, and that's me for today but uh, thank you very much for watching um, I hope that you have a good day I hope that's inspired you to do a few Halloween pictures um, it's, it is good fun um, it's a good excuse to just go a bit mad with colour I think do magical things and, and fun things and all that sort of thing but anyway thank you for watching have a really lovely day and happy colouring <laughs>